Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Leventera, Tale of the Winds. Now, in the last episode, we went to the Kari Mines and died a lot. But um, we did get a bunch of loot and materials along the way, and I figured we'd go ahead and start this episode by getting at least some repaired here on our ship. Now, we don't have any of the fur or skins or whatever that is, but we do have enough money and stock to take care of the mast, the sails, and the hull. So, I'll restore her to our farmer glory. Indeed. All right. Good times. Now we just need three of whatever those are. I wonder if we can actually find those in town. Let's see what we can find here. Probably not going to find any of them here in the crates. Well, it's okay. Coffee, sugar, tobacco, corn, cannonballs, and hull. <laughs> Fish. And I know he doesn't have anything. Let's go ahead and try and check the other vendors in town, and then we will head back to the mines and see what trouble we can get into. Iron and wood. Now, is this fur? Okay. Good deal. That's exactly what we needed. So we'll head back here and get it done. I'm really glad that he doesn't charge for his services. That would be unfortunate. The EMS trade wind is now ready for sea travel. Fine work. Now all that remains is to find out what's become of the captain. What? You didn't think we'd be living, leaving without him, did you? Uh, no. No, I didn't think that. Heavens no. Alright, now. We can head to the mines. And here we are. Back where we had so much fun before. Now, I'm kind of... Oh. All these uh, things respawned. Interesting. Well, let's not be too hasty here. Yeah, the chest didn't reopen. Or didn't respawn, unfortunately. Now, is Gruesome still going to be over here? Nope. He is very much dead. And you had the boomerang. I'll spend 25 gold for a boomerang. Now we have a choice between the lower path and the upper path. Let's see what's going on here in the lower path. Um, hello? Crow. Ah, wretch, it's you! I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. Something has happened to Captain Nathaniel. I followed him all the way through these mines. He didn't see me. He was muttering to himself. I don't know, he kind of has a islander kind of look to him. He said that there was a huge castle above these mountains, veiled in mist. He said he was going to murder a sorcerer who lives there. Captain Nate went in, but the door closed behind him. I couldn't get it open. I'll head back to shore. I'll bet Jonathan needs a hand with repairs. And when we set sail, I'll be your lookout. If you go after Captain Nate, tread lightly. I think there's dirty work afoot up there. Crow enables you to see other ships' hull integrity and allegiances at sea. Okay, there's allegiances. Good to know. Now, I don't think I have any tools. The pick went away. Yep, pick went away. That's right, eat boomerang bat. We'll find it again. And all the things. A much better sword for slicing. Now I'm kind of curious. It looks like there's a question mark on that gem below the chest. Oh well. Now I wonder if there is some sort of... What's in here? Ooh. Okay. Nothing we can use. And looks like we have to go that way. I'm really glad those platforms don't actually just kill us outright. Crab. Crab leg. 
Man, I really wish I had the pick. Maybe we could have got one in town and I just wasn't paying attention. Curses. Well. And could we actually make that jump? Oh, I highly, highly doubt it. No, I, no there's no way. Maybe there's a path that goes that way. I'll have to discover a little bit later. It's like maybe killing those bosses may unlocks the ability to maybe grab the tools from the ship and I can't go that way without the pick. That's interesting. Like, you have to have this item, otherwise you can't do anything. And wow, there's a little bit of screen tearing. There. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's very <laughs> old school Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, well. I guess we will head back here. And he's gone away. Hmm. Well, wait, can we dagger a throne pick and bombs? Yeah, the throne pick isn't going to help us out any, because I don't think it actually has um, pick abilities. Well, that is very peculiar. Let's head back to town and see if we can find anything. There was nothing that way. We had... Wool, fur, and snake oil. Iron and wood. Hmm. I know we had the apothecary. He saw. Oh, wait a minute. The blacksmith. Oh, we can actually just get weapons. Hmm. I don't want to spend a whole lot of gold because that... That tends to get lost with how I play. Health potion and mana potion. You don't have a tool shop. What's up with that? And there was Willis. Yeah, Willis didn't have anything for me. Well, that is very strange as we run here on the rooftops. Oh! The parrot can retrieve items out of reach. Nice! I have a buddy! I did not expect that. Good times. Now, you cannonballs and hull, and you just had fish, which is useless. The stranger doesn't want, or knows that that ship doesn't want to leave. Well, let's go ahead and try our ship, and if we don't find anything, we're going to have to um, take the... It's like, surely... We have some sort of... Oh, can I not? Oh, there we are. Sleep for a while? No. I need tools, my man. Which we apparently do not have. Okay, well, the high road it is then. And if we're blocked by that, then... I really don't know where we go. <laughs> Back this way. I love the fact that I have a parrot on my head. <laughs> that is outstanding. I don't know, maybe we'll find... It'd be awesome if, like, after we unlock from a boss, that was terrifying. We could just grab them from enemies. Ouch. Come here, you. There we go. Upper path. What was over here again? Oh yeah, just a treasure chest, I think. Stuff we can't really use, or we could use, we could always use a treasure chest. And I bet this is the more difficult path. Well, we're just gonna head down here and kill the fish. And this, well I don't know, this actually might be the easier path. You just have to be quick on the 
draw. And we're getting some of that magic power so we can use our abilities. So how... Oh, I like you, Polly. We're gonna we're gonna keep you around for a while. Now what? Wait a minute. No, this is the this is the path that we took earlier. So we're gonna get blocked in by that. Hmm. Yeah, Polly, you go on without me. Well... Oh no. I think I got stuck. I tried to do the crouch, like, jump approach and it... Um... Uh-oh. That's not good. Let me go ahead and uh, restart real quick. Okay, I've had my derp uh, moment for this episode. So if I press the select button, I can actually go to the, um... <laughs> inventory. Uh, the select button kind of sticks on my controller. I'm not using that as an excuse, but it's just kind of there. And you can actually choose the tools and then they'll show up. So now I have the pick again. So we don't have to go hunting for the tools again once we get them, which is great. And we can go ahead and continue on. But I seriously thought that I had pressed select when I was pressing all the buttons trying to figure out what had happened to the tools. And uh, I guess I should be more attentive next time. So do I drop to the left or drop to the right? We drop left. Woo. Oh, that was a good good call. Grab all the goodies. I like my sword, so we're going to stick with that. Ow. That was a bad bet. And keep on going. Now, I'm kind of curious about the gold see that up there? Like, is that actually... Oh, we don't have a shovel yet. We've got an axe and a pick. Oh, is this... Oh, okay. I see. Well, we'll just head back up here. And, uh... No, not to take that pathway. Though we did get a little bit of... Some goodies out of it, so... I can't complain. This actually kind of reminds me, um, I said this reminds me of Castlevania, uh, Simon's Quest, reminds me of Adventure of Link. It also got a little bit of Star Tropics to it as well in terms of the music and the overall vibe. And I need to make sure not to die. That's kind of imperative in every video game. And the thing is, oh, I gotta work about the controls and I can't really describe the controls to you guys. I... You'd have to you'd have to play it to kind of see what I what I mean. Everything is slightly delayed, just by a bit, not horribly. And this looks like we're about to enter a castle. Oh, hello. Upper mine shaft entrance. Report to Foreman Mev for assignment. I'm afraid to say that that is not working out. That is an impressive looking fortress. I got what you need. No, getting rid of, like, buying anything from you would get rid of Polly, and I refuse to have that happen. And we will go this way. Ooh. Silent Hill. Interesting. I never get customers anymore. I I need an in. <laughs> like desperately. There was supposed to be a life for us here. Once the palace was built, the sorcerer closed the doors. The next morning it was transfigured. Every brick turned to gold. We never saw another sign of him except for the wind and the fog. I've got nowhere left to go. Well, I could lead you through the mine shaft if you feel so inclined. Careful, I'm bleeding all over the place, so 
Probably not the... Okay, that want to make sure that was the banker. Hey, a small tavern. Hallelujah. If you don't mind, I'd like to drink in peace. The uh, glory days of this town are long since past. It takes a lot of laborers to build a palace. And a lot more to excavate the rock to build it with. A lot of good men died in those mines. Yeah, including me. Once the work was done, barely anyone had any reason to stay. Only mugs like me still live here. I'm too lazy to move. Hmm. Uh, we don't get many visitors around here. Ever since the palace doors closed, it's been quiet. The miners have mostly moved on to other places. Can't blame them. Hmm. Days. I knew something was wrong even before the palace was built. People said Mev was co-opting workers into building something. They said it was some kind of altar, all covered in strange markings. And then they started finding these green crystals. Funny thing was, these crystals were coming up from shafts we'd already depleted. Almost like something was causing them to grow down there. But that's impossible, right? They were crystals, not living things. I think that was a gentleman. Sleep for a while? Yes, please. We will sleep in your nice village and get our health back. Hallelujah. And what we got here? Ooh. Wayne. It's too dangerous to sail into open sea right now with the fog and the sudden storms. They come like lightning from a clear sky, or so they say. I miss my children in Benkyo. I'm sick of this flea pit. Agreed. Hey! Man, Blackjack gets around, doesn't he? Okay, this is Wexel Village. Good to know. Well, I guess nowhere to check out other than... The castle itself. Come along, Polly. Vagrant. Look at that! Two strangers in one day! This huge, swarthy bastard just comes running past with nary a sideways glance. He's dressed real fine. Gold brack, leather boots, and a tricorn hat on his head. He looks magnificent. Palace door opened right up for him. Think it'll open for you? He walked right in. Me? I wouldn't go in there for all the spice and carowin. That place is cursed. Sure as all hell. You can tell just by looking. Well, thank you, ma'am. That's not foreboding. As we hear ghost riders in the sky, I believe. And we'll just walk right by the door. Do 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 do. Oh. Hi. Uh, lend me some coin. Sure. The beggar smiles gratefully. Lend me some coin. Sure. The beggar smiles gratefully. Well, lend me some coin. Oh. Okay. Feed me. Here's two coin to eat. I am a nice pirate. Please help. And Engold. The beggar looks toward the ground and sighs. Just doing my part. And what's this way? Warning. No way back up. Ah. That is down where we fought the lumberjack, I would imagine. So if we go... Hmm. Actually, I do kind of want to backtrack. There is a way back up now that we know the uh, flight point. Or not the flight point, but the, uh, the boat point. There we go. Ah, yes! Ow. Keep that boomerang to yourself. Ooh, ooh! Avoid, avoid! This is what I wanted to see. Aha! Oh, just monies. Ooh, lots of monies. 
Oop! And wolves. Alrighty. Well, I'm not going to go all Snow White and the Huntsman here. Ah, okay, so they just consider it like a normal drop. There we go. Well, let me go ahead and get back on the boat, and I will see you outside the fortress, guys. And we're back. That didn't take too long. I like the uh, angel, the archangel statue there. And now comes the Castlevania vibes. <laughs> oh, green slimes. That, oh, that's an RPG staple right there. And skeletons! Woo! Love it. What do you got? Ew. A lightning knight? Okay, hit and run. Is that how we have to approach him? By the way, if you guys want me to go ahead and turn up the music, I know it's... Uh, the thing is, with 8-bit music, it can be extremely loud very quickly. But if you guys want me to go ahead and turn it up, I will be more than happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments. Because it is good. And I saw that false wall. And we are outside. Where nothing bad could possibly happen. And interesting statues. Ooh. I can grab the cutlass if I so wish. Ah, nope. Long sword's better. I miss my rapier. I don't care if it took more hits to kill someone. <laughs> it would take ages to kill this guy. And, whoop. And what do we got here? Nada? I kind of want to fall off the edge. Oh. So this is probably... That's probably a shortcut, I would assume. In case we need to get out of there in a hurry. I suppose. I'm also gives me a chance to go ahead and try out... Ooh, some of this these powers. Yeah. I like it. Now I just have that little backward dash, and we haven't really had to use it in earnest. So... I hope I didn't miss anything out there. Now I'm all kinds of paranoid. Oh, there's a chest up there. Okay. Yep, that is definitely something I need to, uh... find. How do I get up there, though, is the question. Can we climb up the vines? Negative. And I can't do the ducktail style pogo jump, so... How does one go about this? That's kind of a cool thing. Actually, that's right to that distance, isn't it? Ah! Whoops. Don't need to jump the gun. Oh! Okay, I can go up the vines. Do I just have to time it correctly? Oh, I can take those. Cheeky. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous place to get treasure, but I'll risk it. We got one more to go. Ow. Actually, some I think it might actually be good just to zerg those knights instead of having to wait on anything. Another chest out here. We're finding all the riches. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> Might have to go back in town. <laughs> Put this in the bank. Gets us through, uh... Well, let's see, can we... So we're gonna have to be very careful. It's the, the controls regarding the vines are very finicky. So let's see what happens if I just drop down here. And there we are. I wouldn't say very finicky, but they are, uh, you gotta press it at just the right time. Which is very old school Nintendo, I have to give it that. 
You had to be pretty precise with some of the controls back in the day. And we almost got 10k. We're getting there. Especially if we keep on finding treasure chests like that. This is probably where you would need to use some of the special weapons. But I like Polly too much to get rid of him. Ow. He's so nice dropping that heart so I don't really have to go looking for health. And I think we have some healing potions too out of those chests. So we need to make sure that we use them. So we head up there, we fight through the green blob gauntlet. Oh, is that a rapier? Nope. <laughs> it is the same sword. Oh! Yes! On God! Now, get some breathing room. Oh, that's what I want. That right there. That is a blob killing machine. And up we go. I hope this is, like, the right way to go. Because otherwise, that's going to be kind of awkward. I'm going to grab everything. I know some of it's dropping down. It's alright. Can't make an omelet without breaking the eggs. And I didn't see any more... Ow. Vines heading up, so... This might be the end of the line. Gotta be patient here. Not a whole lot to stab on a skeleton. Oh dear. Um... Interesting. I don't know if we should go this way. Was this like a shortcut through... Entry f 6. Four wretches. Hey! Half starved, mad with cold bloodshed and fervor. Cold and bloodshed and fervor. We have ran into the um, the library, it seems. Fortunately, I can read. And can grab loot. I am not exactly sure what's going on here. Let's see. Entry 5. That was entry six. Is this entry seven? So we've missed some entries. I would like... Oh, entry three. Okay, there we go. All right. Entry one. I still dream about... Egenmansland. The ice. The eye. I built this palace out of fear of retribution. But I can only forestall it. Our crimes were thus, one voyage, one sacrifice, one ritual in the snow. Such power we gained, we thought to use it only for good, the arrogance of youth. I think of us upon the ice, rhymed eyebrows, hands shivering above books. Four wretches, half-starved, mad with cold and bloodshed and fervor. When it was done, we sailed to East Landing to start our new lives. We buried our remains beneath the Citadel of Autumn. Quest, the Citadel of Autumn activated. Reward 2,500 coins and zero local favor. We have a quest. Holy crap. Okay, um, and a very ominous door. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here and bank the money that we have acquired. Can I actually just dive off the edge? Whee! Oh, that's incredibly convenient. Yeah, okay. We will head in town and bank all of our money and pick this up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.